I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, it's just a demonstration of how I've made the carousel. It's a one-off project that I've done. So I didn't really know entirely what I was going to do and when and what stage I was going to do it. So uh, just bear with me on it and I hope it gives you some inspiration to do one because it really does look lovely when you've uh, finally finished it. Well, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, fold for the carousel. And I've just found a really good book. And it's all loads and loads of pages. So I'm quite happy with this. So let's have a look. 1,034 pages. So if I can't make a carousel out of that, then there's no hope for us. Right, so what you're going to need, or what I use, is well not what you have to do, but I like to make a template. And luckily, this is a template for the uh, candle fold as well. Uh, but it's slightly different, you don't fold over. But anyway, it fits nicely with this book. <clears throat> so, what you want to do is... I mean, your template is only there for a guide. You don't have to completely follow it. Right, so basically, I've marked it out. I think it's three centimetres. This was, I've just cut this down, so I think it is three centimetres, yeah. So you mark it out around about three centimetres, if you can see. And then um, what we've got there to the middle of the page, this particular book, but it's going to be different for your book, so just sort of like, you know, be aware of that. So it's seven centimetres into the middle of the page. Uh, so basically, I mean, I can give you these measurements, but they're, they're all going to change because your book is going to be probably different. But just make sure that you, you kind of eyeball it yourself. And it's mainly three centimetres down the side here that you, you're going to want. And then you cut according to whatever is in, uh, not cut, sorry, fold uh, in the middle of your page. So basically... My template just helps me when it comes to fold. Now, when you fold that page over, I found that it was hitting the spine. So I've just cut it off. And I, I think that just it, it's just easier. So you mark your book out. You fold it over like so. So that's your page. You've marked your book out. And I like to follow the text. So only use your, your, your template as a guide, but use the text to cut. So you basically fold it back, and I just trimmed a bit off. I mean, it wasn't much, but I trimmed off, but I trimmed it off. And then this page here, fold it up to there, and then fold it up the, that mark to there, like so. Oops, can you see? So that is your basic fold for your carousel and you fold all the way through the book and it is a bit difficult so I suggest you either get some pegs or some clamps and uh, eventually you get through it but it's something I've really enjoyed doing see you're going to have probably you're going to probably need about three clamps by the time you finish to clamp here and sometimes your clamps are in the way but so I'll show you again I've just cut a couple of pages at a time so you cut away all your pages but I, I like to keep don't do too many at a time because you, you go like wrong so put that on while you're folding it'll just give you something to work to so just do one page at a time Right, so keep that there, one page at a time. Bring that, make sure, yeah, make sure you cut right to the edge. You don't really want it tearing. Right to the, right to the bit there. So fold it over and see what I mean. Sort of like, I'll crease it. But if you notice, it's slightly over the spine. Can you see? It's just slightly over the spine. So you're going to get a bulk there if you just fold it back. So what I'm going to do... I mean, it's entirely up to what you do. 
just I'm going to trim it off to the edge of the text. I mean, it's a little bit more long winded, but I think you know, taking your time with it, and you do probably, I don't know, probably 20 pages at any one time, and that's all depending on you know how good your scissors are. But if you try and do too many, it looks jagged and it looks a mess. So that's basically your fold. So I hope you enjoy doing this book folding. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. So that's the fold. Continue with the rest of the Hiddly Piddly video and uh, you might learn something. Uh, I learned something along the way. So this next one is probably going to be a little bit better than my first one. Anyway, thanks for joining me then. Bye for now. Well, I've just attached the little uh, lights here, the parasol lights. And uh, what I've done is I've counted just about 25 pages of every 25th page. Uh, I'm sure there's a mathematical equation to work it out if you've got so many pages of your book divided by so many lights, but I just guessed it. Maths is not my strong point. So how I've done it is I've just linked it like that over the pages, like that. So it's easy enough to do. And these lights are readily available from the pound shop. So hopefully when I've put it all together, it'll look quite pretty. How I'm going to actually stick the lights on, I've got my glue gun here. And what I'm going to do, what my intentions are, is just put a dab of glue, kind of, just about there. And make sure that I've got them kind of where I want them seated there. So like that, and a dab of glue there. So I'm going to start just hot gluing each section and trying to get it quite nice and neat not like a dog's dinner as it is now so I'll do that and then I'll show you how that turns out okay so I've managed to stick these little lines in so as you can see it's how I've done it I've just looped it around doesn't look as much as a dog's dinner but uh, it's not too bad so I'll switch it on and that's the effect that it gives. It's a bit time consuming to do and you're going to have to be really patient um, because sometimes it goes in and sometimes it doesn't. So bear with me when if I do this as a demo because I haven't done it before, it's a one-off so I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just going to do go along with the flow because it's not my idea, I've seen it on uh, my uh, one of my groups that I'm uh, joining, joined sorry, with um, a book folding group. So I'll just go through what I've actually done. Now I've used my brother's scan and cut and I've cut the biggest um, scallop circle there and I've cut a nice big piece out and that is basically I'm going to bend it over and make a roof. I've also used pencils with some washi tape just to uh, something to stick the horses on. And this is the die that I've uh, bought from eBay. It's a tattered lace die. And I've uh, used that one, tattered lace die. And what I did, I used my brother's scan and cut again, because we can with tattered lace die. She's given permission, Stephanie has. And I just wanted a silhouette. And that's basically because it's a nice die, but it just, I wanted more of a, a solid cut so what I did I just cut the silhouette out and I'm going to chop those off and just stick that on there pretty can't do this one hand. so I'm just going to stick it on there like that so what I'll try and do I think that's everything I've showed you yeah this is going to be my flag for the top and the scallop that I've cut out and I'm going to place that 
around so it's not too important to get this sort of like really straight because I'm gonna I'm gonna cover it up like that so I'm going to uh, stick all that together I'll try and do a little video on how I've done it but that's the general idea okay then I'm trying to figure out whether or not to cut these down put them on the top or wedge them in like that so my thought process is you probably won't see it if I'm putting that one now see what I mean about this video is because I don't know what I'm doing but I'm thinking out loud so yes I think I'll get away with not actually cutting the pencils down I'm just wedging them in. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to stick them in. No, I'm going to put the horses on first, then stick them in and see how we go with that. And I'll just basically go through the, uh, the demo with you like this, if you don't mind. It's not a professional way and it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a hit and miss, but uh, it's going to be all trial and error together, I think. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, stages I've got now is I've put the horses on and I've kind of, uh, to space them out, I've kind of followed the bunch pattern and it's worked out reasonably well until you get to the back. But I'm not too, too concerned about that at the moment because I've got it clamped up and I'm hoping that we can sort that out after. So my next stage is going to be to actually start decorating. Uh, I mean, I've, I've done just like decorated the horses. I put the ribbons and the uh, dazzle on there. So now I'm going to start um, putting on the uh, roof and the, the other bit. So I'm getting quite pleased in how it's turning out. So uh, join me in the next bit of the video. So how I've done the roof is I've cut a petal off, like I explained. Now I've double skinned it, so uh, that's all I've done is I've made a hole in the top of the roof because I want to stick a flag or a cocktail stick on it or something. So uh, now that I'm just going to kind of stick on there. I think I'll put the, uh, the trim on first though, because I think that'll be easier. And it's started to take shape. Well, thanks for joining me and I hope I've given you some inspiration like I was inspired to make this uh, carousel when I saw it, um, a photograph on a book club, um, a book forum that I, I belong to. It's a brilliant group and we all share uh, ideas on what we make. But uh, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed it then and thanks for joining me.